Well, you've heard me talk in previous videos about an old Ford, and this is it. The old 801 Ford Powermaster. Uh, this is the first tractor I learned the basics of a tractor and how to drive it. And this was also the first tractor my grandpa ever bought brand new. Um, well, first and only. Only tractor he ever bought that was brand new. Back in 1962. But yeah, it had the old 6 volt system on it yet. For the ignition and stuff. And the um, all the electrical is just falling apart and old. Had some kind of electrical problem somewhere, so it wouldn't start. I was going to put it on here, like over a little over two years ago is the last time it's been run. Because um, it's something electrical, I didn't know what to do, and I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I just sat there and had the Kubota, so that's much more dependable. So I've been, you know, I use that and stuff. So, but I wanted to get this old tractor going again. It's very sentimental to all of us. Grandpa's tractor, man, this thing did almost everything. You know, it ran big balers and you name it, it did it. Uh, and then I also replaced the starter switch there. Uh, the original one is all cracked and busted. And instead of replacing that years and years ago, my grandpa, he was very clever, came up with this. Uh, this was a toggle switch. Now it's a key again. And then uh, he also rigged up a starter button right here. That's how he did it. You know, with these old tractors, you could do such a thing too. But yeah, the carburetor leaks a little bit, so I'll have to mess with that yet. A nice guard in the front there. Took a little finagling to get that back on. And there's the power steering pump. It leaks something terrible too. Kind of the way it looks, I wonder if it is in the seal right here. A lot of residue right there. That might be it. It squeals something awful. You pretty much almost see the second reservoir that a big barrel that feeds into there. Four cylinder gas. Uh, he never owned anything that ran on diesel. Always had gas tractors. He wanted uh, I remember him telling me one of his the reasons for that was he wanted one fuel barrel that could fill everything lawnmower you name it you know it would be everything so that's what he he just stuck with gas engines then this battery is a group 35 battery uh, the dimensions of it are roughly about the same as the 6 volt was cranking amps are a little bit less but while well, it should be fine the research I found on it and it was a cheaper one, but yeah, I just thought I'd get this on here though. I've been wanting to do it, but like I say, it wasn't running. And other than that 12 volt system, the, I found a really good YouTube channel. Uh, they go through step by step how to uh, wire it all up and hook it all up. And they also uh, have a website and I ordered all the parts from their website. So I will put that on here so you know who that was and check them out. Uh, very helpful in you know, technology. I could be out here with my uh, phone and watch the video and make sure I don't miss anything. And it starts up way faster than that old 6 volt. If you've had a 6 volt, you know how they are. And if it would have been working, the 6 volt, I would have done a comparison, 6 volt to 12, but it wasn't, so don't have that. But, walk around my trailer here. Just kind of a quick walk around. a short video on here a quick video of it starting up so
Alrighty, let's start up this old tractor. I'll show you how fast it starts up now. Okay, but you gotta have the the choke out part way, otherwise it sits there and spits and sputters and sometimes dies, so I need to get that carburetor fixed. But one thing at a time. 